Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Christ, you are the light and day which drives away the night the ever-shining Son of God and pledge of future light. And now the evening shadows fall. Please grant us, Lord, we pray, a quiet night to rest in you until the break of day. Remember us, poor mortal men, we humbly ask, O Lord, and may your presence in our souls be now our great reward. The Lord said to my Master, Sit at my right hand. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the streams by the wayside, therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. The Lord said to my master, Sit at my right hand. Alleluia. Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of his wonderful work. Alleluia. We will thank the Lord with all our heart in the meeting of the just in their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious his work, his justice stands firm forever. He makes us remember his wonders. The Lord is compassion and love. He gives food to those who fear him, keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has shown his might to his people by giving them the lands of the nations. He, his works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant forever. Holy is his name to be feared. To fear the Lord is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. His praise shall last forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Merciful and gentle Lord, you are the crowning glory of all the saints. Give us, your children, the gift of obedience, which is the beginning of wisdom, so that we may do what you command, and be filled with your mercy. Our compassionate Lord has left us a memorial of his wonderful work. Alleluia. All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants. All who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Hallelujah. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Hallelujah. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All power is yours, Lord God, our mighty King. 
Hallelujah. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 1. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, He who in His great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life from the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement, which is kept in heaven for you who are guarded with God's power through faith, a birth to a salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise the greatness of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach the good news to the poor. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach the good news to the poor. The world was created by the Word of God, recreated by His redemption, and is continually renewed by His love. Rejoicing in Him, we call out, Renew the wonders of your love, Lord. We give thanks to God whose power is revealed in nature and whose providence is revealed in history. Through your Son, the herald of reconciliation, the victor of the cross, free us from empty fear and hopelessness. May all those who love and pursue justice work together without deceit to build a world of true peace. Be with the oppressed, free the captives, console the sorrowing, feed the hungry, strengthen the weak, and all people reveal the victory of your cross. After your son's death and burial, you raised him up again in glory. Grant that the faithful departed may live with him. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful and ever living God, direct your love that is within us, that our efforts in the name of your Son may bring mankind to unity and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.